Hi, it's Alicia from the Pretty Brown Eyed Reader. Today, I am back at work after my holiday break. And I'm sitting outside. It's a little overcast, so I'm hoping that the lighting will be okay. I just want to do a quick wrap-up of the books that I read during my holiday break. I was off from December 21st through uh, January 1st. And during that time, I had... A lot of um, time to read because that's all I wanted to do for Christmas I didn't need anything or um, anything materially just needed that rest and that's what I got for my Christmas <laughs> so um, the first thing I read was actually I was finishing up a collection and you can't see the cover but it's Heads of the Colored Pe People by Nafisa Thompson Spires. And this is a library bind up, so um, the cover is not on there. And it is a short story collection um, about black people and what goes on in their heads. And it's all kind of black people. And I love the, the collection because it shows that being black is not a monolithic experience like people will have you to believe. We don't all live in the ghetto, uh, we don't all have baby mamas and baby daddies and all that stuff so it's just it was just a refreshing collection to see the first story actually starts off with somebody that dresses up like superheroes and does the cosplay stuff and I'm not familiar with it but it was fun to read about it even though the story was kind of tragic she has the she she presents um, Nafisa uh, Thompson Spears Spires she presents people but she plays on uh some of the the things that are going on the in the characters lives so that was the first story um there's another story uh with two girls that are um in a predominantly white school and their mothers write letters back and forth so i love the epistolary format so that was good there's another one that stuck out in my mind was about uh, a woman who has a fetish for handicapped men and <laughs> it really made me examine what is it that I am attracted to and why am I attracted to it you know nothing against you know what what this character having this fetish but even though it, that's a unique fetish that you don't generally think people have it still made, it was kind of just it made me reflect on it and that's what short stories do for me is it gives me a moment just to pause and think about stuff um she has another one with uh, a girl a teenager who is filming asmr videos and so it's just, like i said it just shows a wide breadth of what um black people are up to and what is going on in the head so fabulous collection i can't recommend it enough so, um, you know, I'm a poetry girl, so I wanted to read about, read Terrence Hayes. I really haven't read his stuff before, so I went to the library and checked out all of his, not all of them, but as many as I could get. And this is one of the collections that I got, and that's A Wind in a Box. Yeah, by Terrence Hayes. And this one was published in 2006. And it was a, a good collection. Look for probably some in April some videos based off of these poems in April maybe <laughs> just a hint and the thing that I was most excited to read was something that musical Tati has talked about on her channel especially during vlogmas and I was like let me get in on this and that's Alyssa Cole and I read A Hope Divided and it's a romance set in the Civil War now I'm not a fan of anything that go on the Civil War generally because of you know the the stereotypes the you know going with the wind syndrome is what I feel like most of them have like you know the the slaves had no mind but Alyssa Cole presented a very different take on the civil war and showing that there were whites that were against the confederacy that lived in the south and it had nothing to do with slaves it's just basically they didn't want to be a part of because they didn't own slaves it wasn't nothing to do and 
it reminded me of a book, a nonfiction book, The State of Jones. And I think they made that was made yeah, it was made into a movie with Matthew McConaughey. It reminded me a little bit of, of that book. Uh because you had whites who were intermingling with blacks. But anyway, it's an interracial love story. And sorry, my Chick-fil-A bag is flying around because I'm eating lunch too. <laughs> and um but her writing is very good and you can tell that she does her research and make it a historical novel. So thank you Musical Tati for the recommendation and talking this author up and I can look forward to trying something else by her. I hope you got some good reading in during the holiday if you got a chance to have a holiday break. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great day.